What's going on guys? Welcome to Boosted Motorsports. So I wanted to share just a bit of a vlog style for you guys today. We've got the Eco Diesel behind us. If you guys have not yet checked out our video where we showed the new workshop and location, definitely go check out that video. Also, we showed our 100K YouTube award. So thanks again to you guys. And if you haven't seen, go check out that video because I show you guys the full compound that we got here. But what I'm doing right now is I'm actually waiting for our blue Ram to arrive. So our blue single cab Ram right now is getting towed to our new place and I've been waiting for it. It's been an absolute nightmare trying to get that thing uh, just to get a tow scheduled. I am not exaggerating you guys. It took, shoot, what was that? Right now it's uh, about 9.30 p.m. So, and I, ordered and scheduled the tow at noon the previous day so so we're 24 hours plus nine hours and even above that so whatever the math is on that i guess over 33 hours to get a tow to here it's just absolutely insane but it's supposed to be showing up in the next five minutes but i wanted to share with you guys a few things We've got these headlights from V-Land. So I saw these headlights and I thought they would be super cool. I haven't seen anybody, maybe you guys have, but me personally, I haven't really seen them around. These are pretty trick. They're full LED. They look a little bit different. And this strip, this is a full LED strip and that's a full LED strip. And they actually like glow and change different colors. It doesn't look like some sort of cheesy thing, but apparently they go blue and do like some sort of like pulsating thing um, when you start the vehicle. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. I guess once we open them up and check them out and install them, we'll see how they look. But I'm pretty excited about that because the headlights that are on it right now are just way too plain Jane. So I'm excited about that. Also too, I will have some videos for you guys uh, on some marker lights. So I've been testing out some LED marker lights for the quad headlights. So if you happen to have quad headlights on your Ram and you wanna you know, do some stuff to them, I will be doing that stuff for you guys. But I am ultimately gonna be upgrading the headlights. I'm gonna try those out. And we also have factory uh, projector headlights. So we'll get a few combinations and we'll decide ultimately on what look we wanna go with. But hopefully it shows up here soon and we'll see what happens. Okay, I think it's here. Alright boys, I don't know why I'm so excited just to see this thing again and I really want to like clean it up too and I really, since I didn't have my own place, I really haven't had a chance to like clean this and get it the way I want. Plus, you guys already know we've got the lowering kit that Carl sent us, so got that Beltec kit that we're going to get on here too and now that we've got garage space I can actually, you know, get onto that. But uh so she's back in here another thing i wanted to point out to you guys like i was mentioning in the video where i showed you guys this place is you can fit two full-size trucks in here and like look at how much room we have between them you can see how much room i still have on this side and you know we still got all these cabinets and stuff and there's just so much room in this two-car garage because it's an oversized two-car garage like it's crazy you could, like I said, if you really needed to, for some reason, you just squeeze stuff in here, you could probably put things on like those uh, floor dollies and you could push and fit three vehicles in here, no problem. And you could probably fit three vehicles that uh, weren't so big as well. So here's the two trucks. You can see when we've got the backflip covers on both, that's the Mopar version, and this is just the backflip one. Um, I'm, I've never had trucks with these, you guys, and ever since I got the one on the Eco Diesel, I swear by these things, it completely transforms like just your ability to like pick things up and store things securely back here and you know have them locked but i have a surprise in the back of this thing and i've got a few parts so like i said i wanted to do a bit of a vlog style and show you guys some stuff so let me pop open the back and show you guys what i got all right guys so check this out so back here i have an 8 hp 70 along with the converter so I went to go pick something up, which I'll show you in just a second, and the guy had this sitting on the floor. It's out of a 2019, only has 20,000 miles on it, and 
there she is. So I was pretty excited about that because as you guys know, we have a 5.7 that's in the crate, a factory long block motor, and we need transmission to go with it. Plus this is the exact transmission that's in this truck. So in case we go crazy and end up burning up the transmission, I got a transmission for it that I got for a stupid cheap price. So I just couldn't pass that up. We got a bunch of other stuff back here. Here's the Laramie taillights. Actually, I should show you guys this because this was a failed attempted video. And as you can see here, this is what the Laramie taillight looks like. And I actually tried to tint it. And it came out half decent for the most part, but I just barely was short on material. And when it came to the edges, I really wasn't that good at trying to wrap this. So <clears throat> like you can see here is all bubbling and stuff. So um i don't know we'll see in the future i do like the look of this one over that but that's what that was so over here you'll see that i ended up picking up this so i needed this dash bezel so that we could put our 8.4 u connect in here so i picked this up for the blue truck so we're all ready to go but i need a few extra parts it also has the electrical outlet um, which we can try to hook up, but we do need another module, I believe, to actually make it work. You can plug it in, there's a plug there, but the actual like inverter for it um, is a separate module. But we've got this, and then let me show you guys what else we have for the 8.4 Uconnect. So when I picked up this, that guy had the transmission, and like I said, couldn't pass it up. So in this box, I actually have a mirror for here. And it's got the microphones in it as well as auto dimming because you can see here this is just a basic mirror that came standard on this truck so let's pop this open i haven't even opened it yet it should be the same mirror as what you see here and you can see here it's got the assist and all that stuff and the microphones are actually on the top plus it should have this kind of box on the bottom and it comes with the wiring harness so let's see what we got okay so if you guys have been following along this was the original stereo that was in the truck and hopefully you can see but it's got like rounded edges and the u connect the 8.4 u connect has a full square screen so that's why we needed this bezel it has a square screen and also you can see that the stereo knobs are mounted on the head unit whereas the stereo knobs on this one are mounted on the bezel because there's no knobs here so that's to go with that and then let's open this up hopefully the mirror isn't busted and yeah, I bought this off eBay because I thought it was cool because it already has the wiring harness that we need because our overhead doesn't have the wiring harness so we can plug this in hopefully. So this is going to be another little project. All right, she's in one piece. <laughs> That's good news. So there we go. So we've got the mirror. And there's the microphones. You can see one there and the other one's right there on the top of the mirror there. And then I can't remember if this is automatic high beams. I believe that's what that is. Either that or that, one of the two, I don't know. I know there's one to do with the dimming. I don't know if that one's dimming or, or what's what, but anyways, you guys can see it's got a bunch of stuff. So hopefully we can enable some features with Alpha OBD. Not entirely sure what this guy is. Looks like some sort of sensor. But again, we can figure all this stuff out, but I'm just more happy that it has everything just chilling here. So. That way we can plug this in. And the biggest thing is the fact that it has the microphones. That way we can get our hands free to work. Cause right now, hands free will work even on the smaller Uconnect that we have in here. It works, but the problem is I have no microphone so nobody can hear me. So even though this one has Bluetooth, it has no microphone so nobody can hear you. So once I put in that mirror with the microphones and we're gonna install it on this head unit, hopefully the actual microphone will start working so we can have full hands free. Another little thing too is these are the original mirrors you guys. So you can see here this was the broken mirror when we picked up the truck. And these were just no power, no heat, no nothing. But what I wanted to do actually was I wanted to, if you guys do or don't know, there's a massive spring in here that's uh, pretty difficult to remove. So that's why most people just swap the whole mirror and they don't take them apart. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to look in to see if 5th gen 1500 mirrors, if they have the same architecture here, because this piece, the triangle portion is different on the 5th gen 1500 mirrors. But I think they really look really cool. They got that clear like turn signal right here. And I'm hoping that I can use these as the donor. I don't know if anybody's done it yet, 
but if I can take the spring out and change the mirror portion, but leave this base, the triangle part, and then I can bolt them straight up. So that's what I'm keeping these around for. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing with the original boring mirrors, because you can still pass through all your electrical. So it doesn't matter that the base uh, doesn't have power. We can still pass it and run it through the mirror if I can get the rest of it to work. What do you think, Clay? You think this is a good idea? Yes, I think it's an amazing idea. I can't wait to see it. Well, if Clay Milliken thinks we should do it, I think we should do it, so it should be pretty good, but I gotta get some rest. I'll catch you guys in the morning. All right, so it's the next day. Let's go ahead and pull the RAM back to the shop and let's unload the back. We got the transmission. I got a bunch of stuff back here. I also have a bunch of Rotella, which I'll talk about in a second. Let's get back there. All right, guys, this is the first time this Ram has been in the shop. This is where a lot of stuff is gonna end up happening from here forward, so it's kind of exciting. Not really much going on right now, but just the fact that this is in this building and we needed this building to get this project underway is a pretty cool thing just to see. So let me unload this and show you guys all the stuff we got. So we're definitely gonna get this converter and transmission out of here. Also have Jason's tonneau cover. If you guys remember, he lent us his soft tonneau cover. So I got to return that back to him in Texas. So when we go back, I'm going to haul that back as well so I can bring it back to him. And we're also going to get our eco diesel axle, which we're rebuilding so that we can put the built eco diesel axle that has a Detroit True Track into this puppy. So there's no sense in having a built axle in the eco diesel. So what we're going to do is we're gonna put the eco diesel axle back in and then the axle that's in the eco diesel will come out and go into this so that we have built axle. So I have a million jugs of Rotella. You guys are not gonna believe that. Just before I take the transmission out, you guys get to see the size of this slug or snail, or I guess the slug, I don't know. You guys probably know down in the comments. I think it's massive. I've never seen one this big in my life. I almost stepped on him because I didn't see him, but look at him. Look at this guy. He's just chilling. This thing is huge though. Like, there's my hand. He's like the length of one of my fingers. Like, this thing is massive. I almost didn't know what it was and almost stepped on a little guy, but well, he's just chilling. Okay, here comes the not so fun part. Okay, so the truck is empty. Another not so fun errand that I gotta do is I gotta take the battery out of the trailer. For some reason, this deep cell marine battery keeps going bad, so I'm gonna go exchange it for a new one. I'm not sure if maybe um, you know something's causing a draw, like maybe if I need to put a disconnect switch on the winch, but either way, this battery is completely done -zo, so, and it's still less than a year old, so it's under warranty, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that thing out. Okay, well. Got this silly battery, let's go get a new one. All right, let's go ahead and give this thing a well-deserved bath. I've only washed it once since I've had it, and I think now is the time. So let's pull it out and wash this thing. Okay, so we got the RAM all cleaned up. So, got that thing clean, dry, and I figure since I have everything out, I might as well go ahead and give the Eco Diesel some love since we're gonna go all the way across country again. And might as well clean it up a little bit since I already have everything out. And this truck looks spicy all cleaned up. But I wanna show you guys one thing because even though it's not that exciting, you know, showing you guys me watching the Eco Diesel, I wanted to point out one thing. We drove 1,200 miles with the trailer attached and then I also drove around a few hundred miles or so around Florida. 
And this is the extent of the brake dust. Like it's not even that much. Like it's not caked on here by any means. And it just wipes right off as you can see there. So these are the PowerStop Z36 pads. I showed you guys an install video and a review on them. I'll link it above here. If you guys are battling with brake dust, I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting these pads. Not only that, but they work awesome. Um, I have no problem stopping and I feel like they bite actually better than the factory ones. And then I've been using this stuff. Um, I'll link it as well if you guys are interested in it. This stuff works phenomenally. You spray this on, agitate it a tiny little bit with a brush if there's some heavier spots, and then all of a sudden it comes out like a brand new wheel. So you can see here, I haven't dried them or done anything, but they're perfectly clean. I just need to kind of just wipe them with a cloth and we're good to go. But that combination there makes life so easy on these trucks as far as maintenance, because you guys know from the factory how bad that brake dust cakes and then trying to get it off is an absolute nightmare. But that is a really good solution, what I got going on right here. So watch, I'll even just give you a quick demo here. So you kind of just give it a few squirts on here. And then this stuff turns purple when it hits brake dust. So you kind of know it's working. But since there's not a whole lot on here, I don't expect a ton of purple action. So I just run around the wheel like that, just so I can kind of hit all the different spots. And that's pretty much it. You don't have to like work at it or anything. Kind of let it do its thing. I give a little bit of once over action on the tire. And then if we just rinse it off, we'll get the same results as the other side. You can see how clean it is right there. So you can just see it rinsing right off and you get this perfectly clean finish. Hopefully that helps you guys. Cause like I said, ever since I've owned these trucks, I've been battling brake dust and this is by far the best solution here. So you can see we're like squeaky clean on the whole wheel, just like that. And again, that's 1500 miles or so, give or take. Plus most of that, the 1200 miles was towing that big 24 foot enclosed trailer. So I think we're doing okay with this setup. Okay, so Eco Diesel's all clean. I'm actually gonna take the Eco Diesel, go get a new battery, run some errands, and then I'll be back and I'll also have to do something to the trailer. All right, so we're back from running some errands. So I got a new battery, but you guys don't have to watch me install a new battery into the trailer. I'm sure it's not gonna be that exciting, but let's crack these open because I do wanna see what they're gonna look like. And we'll wrap up the video with that because I'm super excited to see how they look in person. I haven't seen anybody rocking them. Um, maybe you guys have, I'm pretty, uh, familiar with the ram scene but i haven't seen anybody rocking this style headlight so let's crack them open see what they look like and um i also have to change the rear shocks uh on this truck because this thing is just like an absolute pogo stick i'm pretty sure they're like blown at this point so i'm gonna swap them but i'll make a separate video on that open the box all right let's check it out Here we go. I'm gonna take it out of the package. Dang, I think these might look pretty good, you guys. Check these puppies out. So apparently these are switchbacks as well, and these are full LED headlights, and they're supposed to be extremely bright, so we don't have to put any HIDs or anything in them. They're already full LED, so Let's see what these look like up against the truck. Oh, heck yeah, that's gonna look so good, you guys. I cannot wait to get these things on here. I'm supposed to leave tomorrow for Texas to go pick up some stuff, but ah, oh, this is gonna be, I wanna change these so bad right now. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Like I said, I'm trying to leave in the morning so that I can go and get some more stuff. I got a bunch more stuff to pick up. Uh, a bunch more shop stuff and then I'm gonna bring back the Viper as well so and like I said I also right now I'm gonna film changing the rear shocks for you guys I got the Bilstein uh, shocks over there brand new that I'm gonna throw on the Ram so that it's not a pogo stick in the back anymore and I really want to put on those headlights but I think I'm gonna have to use a little willpower and wait until we get back because I need to go get some stuff. I need to make another run because I've got a bunch of trips back and forth to do and I need to start getting them underway. So thanks for watching guys. If you guys like this style of video and kind of just behind the scenes stuff and just kicking it and what I kind of do on a daily basis, uh, let me know down below what you guys think of this stuff. And I also might start putting it on uh, you know different channels and stuff like that. Like I said, we also have Boosted Motorsports too. I think I'm gonna post this on the main channel since most of you guys follow here, but um, some of this vlog stuff will start going on the second channel once I get really, really busy with uh, a lot of stuff. But I'll update you guys here on the main one for now. I'll link Boosted Motorsports 2 where you guys should go make sure you're subscribed to that one because 
you guys will be missing out on content and I've already posted a ton of content over there. So go check it out. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.